Good evening, good morning, good day, good everything to you all. I'm excited because look what I have. I have a whiteboard. Yeah, whiteboard. This is a new whiteboard. I'm really excited to use it today. So what I have in mind is that we're going to listen to the ambulance sounds. So what I have in mind is I'm going to not only teach you some Japanese vocabulary, but we're going to play kind of a game and use the whiteboard for writing because it's fun. So um, my idea is that I'm going to pick a word, pick a word, and hopefully it's a new word for you that you've never learned before in Japanese. And I'm going to say it and then I'm going to write it and show it to you. And then I'm going to tell you um, three possible English translations, and only one is correct. It's like two truths and a lie, but two of them are lies and one of them is true, basically. So you're going to learn the new vocabulary through this game where you have to guess which meaning is correct. We can do a little practice round real quick, so let me think of, let me think, let me think. Let's start off with an easy one that I think many of you probably already know, so this is just our easy practice round. The word that I'm thinking of is neko, 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 neko. So, neko, neko, either uh, neko doesn't mean one dog two, cat, or three, bird. Dog, cat, bird, what do you think? Neko. If you said two, then you're correct, yeah. Neko means cat. But I'm sure many of you already knew that. That was just our easy practice round. So that's how this little game is gonna work. I'll raise my board, okay, okay. I won't go that easy on you. In fact, I have my vocabulary book here that I'm going to be using. It has some pretty advanced or interesting words. I'm just going to go through and pick some that I like. Let me see. Open up to a random page. Let's go here. Let's go. I'm going to teach you some new words. Oh, here is an interesting word. All right, the word that I chose is kyoryoku. Kyoryoku. Ryoku. It's hard to say. Kyoryoku. 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 So I'm going to attempt to draw the kanji. And then I'll write the furigana at the top for kyoryoku. And you all need to take a good guess at what you think kyoryoku means. I'll give you three choices. So give me just one moment here to draw this kanji. Writing the free gun and up. Kyo. Ryoku. Kyo ryoku. Kyo ryoku. Kyo ryoku. So let me show you. Not the most beautiful kanji in the world, but let me trace for you. Kyo ryoku. Two kanji kyo. Ryoku, kyo, ryoku. Okay, so what does kyo ryoku mean? One, cooperation. Two, abbreviation. Or three, environment. Cooperation, abbreviation, or environment. Cooperation, abbreviation, or environment. I'll give you five more seconds to think about it. 
if you said one cooperation, then you're correct. Kyoryoku. Kyoryoku means cooperation. Kyoryoku. And if you combine it with the need to do verb, suru, like this, if it becomes kyoryoku suru, kyoryoku suru, then it becomes the verb um, to cooperate. So, kyoryoku shimasu, kyoryoku shimashita, kyoryoku shita suru. Cooperate. So, by itself, cooperation. Then the verb cooperate. Okay, how'd you do? How'd you do? Yeah, you can keep score if you want. So, let's see. Erase, 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 erase. Let's move on to number two. I'm wondering if any of you all got that, because that's kind of a difficult word for me, too. <laughs> Here's a good word. Here's a really good word. So, this word that I'm choosing is supai. 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 Just like this. So, this is written in hiragana because I don't believe there's any kanji for this word. Or maybe the kanji are just not commonly used, but su bai the tiny ts to hold out this sound here. Su bai su bai su bai. Okay, now su bai means either one sour, two sweet, or three spicy. Sour, sweet, spicy. Su bai. Sour, sweet, spicy. What do you think? It means sour. Sour. Supai. Supai means sour. Sour. Like a sour flavor. Lemon wa supai desu. Lemon wa supai desu. Lemon is sour. <laughs> Lemon is sour. How did you do on that one? Supai. I didn't know this word for the longest time, so I never really knew how to say sour. I would always just kind of say, yeah, spicy. <laughs> and it didn't make any sense, but supai, very helpful word. Okay, let's see now. Okay, let's go. Right now I'm drawing the kanji for this one, which is a little bit complicated. Choto, choto, fukuzatsu desu ne. Okay, so the word that I've chosen is chishiki, 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 chishiki. Okay, two kanji here, sorry, not the most beautiful in the world. Okay, what do you think chishiki means? Is it one, wonder, two, compliment, or three, knowledge? Wonder, compliment, or knowledge? 
wonder, compliment, knowledge. Five, four, three, two, one. If you said three, knowledge, then you're correct. Chishiki means knowledge, knowledge. Chishiki, chishiki, knowledge. Chishiki o motteiru. You're holding knowledge, you have knowledge. Chishiki, chishiki, chishiki. Knowledge. Okay, how did you do? Was it difficult? I hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My next word is Mabuta. 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 have this written in hiragana. The book does not have the kanji written, so I'm assuming it's usually just written like this in hiragana. Mabuta, 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 mabuta. Okay, does mabuta mean one, eyelid, two, nose, or three, eyebrow? Eyelid, nose, or eyebrow? Eyelid, nose, or eyebrow. Mabuta. Five, four, three, two, one. If you said one eyelid, then you're correct. Mabuta means eyelid. Mabuta. 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 Futatsu no mabuta. do a little bit of an easier word, okay? This one's gonna be just a little bit easier. Chosen is Mirai, 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 Mirai. Okay. Mirai, Mirai. Two kanji, Mi, and then Rai, Mirai. So, does Mirai mean past, present, or future? Past, present, or future. Past, present, or future. Four, three, two, one. Mirai means future. Future. Did you get it? Future. Mirai, mirai. This kanji means um, kuru, which is like to come. So something is coming. So it's often used relating to time words or phrases about the future. Um, so the other reading is nai for ku, this ku plus ru would be kuru, but in this situation it's nai. And if you put nai in front of like a shu, which means week, nai shu means next week, nai nen, next year, mirai, future. So if you see this guy, this nai, Usually, the word will have something to do with the future. Okay. okay. It's 
erase, erase. Maybe you want to see the erasing. It could be kind of satisfying. Yeah, I should be showing you. Sorry. I think everything thoroughly. It really bothers me if I don't erase every single spot. Whenever I'm in a class and the professor erases the board and they leave a little bit of marker spots, it drives me crazy. I have to like go up and fix it myself. Just kidding, I don't actually do that, but it drives me crazy and I can't focus anymore. Okay, let's see here. Actually, there's some, looks like maybe a coffee stain on this. <laughs> don't know how that happened. Okay. Our next word, let me see. Random page in the book. Mm. Random page in the book. Random page in the book. I need to pick one that I actually like. Mm. Chosen Sokodo Sokodo Sokodo. Take a look at these kanji here. Sokodo Sokodo Sokodo. Okay. Gonna beneath because I made these way too big. So good. Okay. Here we go. Here is so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So my question for you: Does so good mean height, weight, or speed? Height, weight, or speed. So, do, so, do. Height, weight, or speed. The answer is speed. Speed. So, kudo means speed. Like how fast something is is so kudo. So kudo. So kudo. So kudo. So kudo. Not to be confused with shokudo, which means school cafeteria or something. <laughs> shokudo, shokudo. Okay, let's see here. Next. Ooh, I like this word. Okay, the word that I've chosen is. Nisemono, 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 Nisemono. Do you know Nisemono? I hope not. Okay, Nisemono, Nisemono. Let me draw this one out. So, Nise does not have a kanji, at least the way it's written here in the book. But Mono is. Very common kanji, butsu. Butsu. Butsu no mono. Tabemono. Okay. So here we have ni se mono. Ni se mono. Ni se mono. Okay. Does this mean real? Fake or pretend? Real, fake, or pretend? Real, fake, pretend. One, two, three. Real, fake, pretend means. 
fake fake nisemono means fake or like imitation fake it's not the real thing nisemono nisemono i think it comes from a combination of the verb to imitate plus mono which is thing it's like imitate thing is a fake thing it's it's a fake it's an imitation that's what nisemono means fake or imitation all right let's keep going what's next This one, hodoku, 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 itchy, itchy, okay, hodoku, 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 let me write here, hodoku, hodoku, and now, to show. any kanji but in the book there's no kanji so hodoku hodoku and the meaning of hodoku does it mean to to combine to untie or to hit combine untie or hit hodoku hodoku combine untie or hit Untie, repeat number two. Untie, 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 untie. So it could also mean like unwind or even unfold. But yeah, unwind, untie, unfold. So you would use hodoku to say if you're uh, untying a ribbon or a bow, maybe untying your shoes or. Um, if your dress or shirt has something on it that's tied, untying that, hodoku. 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 Get the eraser here. Hodoku. How did you do? <laughs> did you get hodoku? Hodoku is a hard word. I know. I would forget that a lot. No way. I usually just say, like, I took it off. I don't actually say I untied it because I don't know what. <laughs> it's a very specific word that's hard to remember, isn't it? Let's try to remember. Hodok. 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 Oh, here's a fun one. I, I like this word. It's kind of long. Nusubandemwa. 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 Okay, let me write this one out here. Make sure I'm writing. There are five kanji in this. Five kanji. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, nusubandemwa. Try to write small enough here. Oh, it's not cute, sorry. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh no. Oh no, I'm messing up. <laughs> I've already run out of space. I apologize. I need to make these much smaller. It's just my first attempt, and it's three kanji shoot. Let's retry. Nusu bandema. Here we have 
the lovely word Nusubandenwa. If I can hold it like this. Nusubandenwa. There's a lot going on here. One, two, three, four, five kanji. Nusubandenwa. Nusubandenwa. Okay. Do you have any idea what this means? Nusubandenwa. Okay. Does it mean? One, DVD player. Two, faxing machine. Or three, answering machine. DVD player, faxing machine, or answering machine. DVD player, faxing machine, or answering machine. If you said three, answering machine, that is correct. Nusuban Dema. I don't know why they have a very specific word for this, but I guess it's like if you're not home and someone calls the house phone, I guess house phones are still popular in Japan, um, then it connects to the answering machine where you leave your message, and that is nusu bandenwa. If you break this down, nusu means like uh, not home, nusu is you're away from home, ban is uh, like number. Ichiban, nibon. Then what means phone? So away from home, number phone <laughs> is answering machine. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Who's Ichiban, then what? Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, who's Ichiban, then what? I remember I first learned that, like maybe last year in my Japanese class. It was. One of the vocabulary words, and I wondered, thinking, why are we learning this word? <laughs> like, I feel like I'm never going to use this. And to be honest with you, I've never used it in my time in Japan so far. I've never used the word nusubandenwa, but it's a fun one, so I wanted to include it. Okay, okay. Next is atatameru, atatameru, atatameru. Atatameru, 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 atatameru. Oh boy, let me write the kanji for this one. Atatame, atatameru. It's a mouthful. Get more on my shirt. Oh man. Gotta keep going. Okay, we're done. Okay. Let's see, here we have. Atata made. Here's one kanji. And the reading here in this situation is atata, atata, and then made. So this is a verb, a verb. Tatameru, tatameru. Does it mean one, to cool off, two, to heat up, or three, to leave out? Cool off, heat up, leave out. Cool off, heat up, leave out. If you said two, heat up, then you're correct. Tatameru means to heat up, heat up. Maybe you've heard the word atatakai, atatakai, and that means warm. So, same base word, atatameru. And then I believe atatamaru will be something heats up, so the intransitive verb. So it would be like nani wo atatameru, uh, I heated up something, or nani ga atatamaru, something heats up. Let's do just a few more, okay? Just a few more. Maybe you can get a few right. Maybe. Let's find out. Um, page should we go to? What page should we go to? Oh, here's a good one. 
記念日記念日記念日記念日 I like this word a lot This is a really, I think the kanji are very pretty for this word. Okay. Ki nembi. Ki nembi. Let me show you here. Ki nembi. Ki nembi. Ki nembi. Ki nembi. Ki nembi. Do you know this word? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Does kinembi mean anniversary, birthday, or tomorrow? Anniversary, birthday, or tomorrow? Anniversary, birthday, or tomorrow? Three, two, one. It means anniversary. Anniversary. Kinembi. Anniversary. Kinembi. Kinembi. Anniversary. Anniversary. So if we break this down, Kinen, Kinen. Sorry, my rice cooker is singing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, thank you. Kinen itself means um, to commemorate. To commemorate or like. Um, celebrate the memory of something, basically. Kinen, kinen suru. And then if you had bi, usually this is said hi, but uh, when it's put on the end of something, this becomes the voiced version bi. Um, and this means day, so commemorate day, anniversary. Anniversary. Alright, Kinembi, 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 Kinembi. I like that word. <laughs> Kinembi. Speaking of Kinembi, I think there was the one year Kinembi anniversary of my channel a little a few days ago, like a week ago maybe. <laughs> so, hey, happy one year, everyone. And if you're new here, then I hope you'll stick around for one more year too. <laughs> okay guys, I think we should do one more. How about one more? One more and then I'll have to get going, okay? One more. And the word that I picked is moteru. 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 There's no kanji for this one, I don't think so. Just wrote the hiragana. Moteru. Mote. Motteru, Okay. Does this word mean to be sad, to be hated, or to be popular? Motteru, Motteru, Motteru. To be sad, hated, or popular? Moteru means to be popular. To be popular. To be popular. Yeah. It's our last word. Moteru, moteru. I've never used this word either. It usually, I think, refers to a person. Is moteru. It's like, oh, they're popular. Usually, like, he's popular among the ladies or something. Oh, kare wa moteru ne. But I've never said that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fun word anyway. <laughs> okay. I want to 
write a secret message to you all now before we go. Here's my secret message. Are you ready? Thank you. <laughs> Arigato. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned a few words, a few new words. Maybe you guessed a few correctly, or maybe you already knew them if you're very advanced. I don't even think these words were that advanced. It's a little bit advanced. But for me, they're hard anyway. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed, found it relaxing, got to learn a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Sweet dreams. Sweet day, sweet night, sweet everything. Bye-bye. Have a good one.